Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click that subscribe button and stick around. Today I am doing the long awaited room tour. I do one of these every single school year. I lived in Centennial A my freshman year at Kent State University and last year I lived in the Alpha Phi house. This year I'm in an apartment off campus living with three of my best friends and I just moved in yesterday. It's all coming together and I figured it was time to share a room tour with you guys. As as per usual, I will leave links to everything that I can possibly find down below. Some things are old, but for the most part, I have things squared away, so I will leave links to everything for you guys to shop, and I hope you guys love this space as much as me. I will have a full apartment tour coming very soon, so make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So I'm actually going to start off in this corner over here. My apartment complex gives you a full extra long bed. We also get a dresser, we get a nightstand, we get a desk, and we get a chair. And it is a four bedroom, four bathroom, the least that I've signed, so I do have my own space. So this is my dresser, like I said, that they provided to dark chocolate wood, and inside of these drawers I've got tons of basic tops that are tank tops and bodysuits and then I've got a row of long sleeve bodysuits and just like tops with sleeves. I have tons of these drawer dividers throughout my room that you guys will see. These are actually from the container store and they make it super easy to just kind of divide up your space. I've got a lot of going out tops over here and because my job is fashion blogging um, and haul making here on YouTube I have like sparser drawers right now in some areas just because I know I'll be getting lots of Mail. So in this drawer, I've got all of my jeans lined up. And then in the third drawer, I've got all of my faux leather leggings. And then I've got sports bras, leggings and joggers, and then tennis skirts and shorts over here. Not too, too much active wear this year. I've scaled back a little bit. And then down here, I've just got some sweatshirts and sweatshirts. I'm sure that drawer will quickly become very, very full as I do wear a lot of loungewear. Up top, I've got all of my jewelry in these clear little pull-out drawers from the container store. They stack and are super, super great. Um, and then I've just got some of my cuffs sitting on top. All clear containers that you see throughout this video are from the container store as well. And then I picked up this mirror yesterday to just rest up top. Thought it would be a great accent piece that is from Target. Moving on over to the bed, which is obviously the most aesthetically pleasing part of the room. I really wanted to go for a more bohemian color palette this year. I want to switch things up. If you've watched my dorm tour or my um, Alpha Phi house bedroom tour, those rooms I went for a gray, light pink, white kind of color palette. And I want to switch things up this time around. I wanted to go for something a little more boho and I wanted to really incorporate that like burnt orange rust color. I actually started off by finding a gallery wall. I've worked with Desenio a couple of times here on my YouTube channel. This video is not sponsored today, but I did have a previous one and I found this gallery wall on their website. I chose to opt out of a few different prints and I added a couple but for the most part I really loved the way that these frames complemented one another so um, from here I chose colors in, to work in the bedding and the sheets and stuff from this wall so as you can see in my sheets I ended up picking this color for the blanket I chose this color to really kind of bring the space together. So the frames of these are from Ikea, but all of the prints are from Desenio. I will leave that gallery wall linked down below. Moving on to my bed, I actually got a duvet cover and a duvet insert. The insert is from Bed Bath & Beyond and the cover is from Urban Outfitters. They have a wonderful home selection and I did get the matching shams to match. They do not come with shams and it does not come with an insert. So you're gonna have to purchase those things separately. This blanket I picked up from TJ Maxx the other day and I really, really like it. I wanted to kind of incorporate a lighter hue of that same orange too so that we can mix up the colors. Um, this blanket right here, I've just got like a soft tan to kind of break up the colors and add a little more neutral. This is from TJ Maxx and these sheets are awesome. They are from Target. This pillow is from TJ Maxx and these two right here are from Urban Outfitters. I love these and I think that they really, I love the texture together. I think it really works. I did go ahead and get a headboard. I've had a headboard all three years and it really does bring the space together. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it looks perfect. I really, really like the way that it's brought this space together. I did go ahead and hang up curtains. This is another key thing that I think really does help bring your space to life. Um, if you have shades, blinds, something up in your apartment, no worries. All you need to do is buy a tension rod and two command hooks. I've command hooked like hooks to the wall and then this tension rod is just resting on top of it. 
I do have curtains from TJ Maxx as well. These are just like a light, like linen, almost like they remind me of the beach. They've got a really sweet vibe to them that I like. They are a little short because my window is so tall, but as you can see, my nightstand is in front of this, so I feel like it kind of works. Um, I have two of these matching lamps throughout my room that you will see. These, I believe, are from Walmart. I actually have them in my bedroom at home, and I just brought them with. This is my Alexa. It's an Echo Show. And then in my nightstand in the very first top drawer, I've just kind of got a bunch of random stuff. My journal, some extra hooks that we didn't use, lip stuff, scissors because I have tons of packages, a few pairs of blue light glasses, and some masks. And then I'm using the lower bin for underwear in one side, socks, and bras in the other. Speaking of the rug, this is from Urban Outfitters as well. I really like it. It's a really unique kind of pattern going on and I like that it adds some texture to the room without it being overwhelming. I also really like that like sandy color and I think that I really brought that back in with that rug. I mean with that blanket right there. So love that. I do recommend if you do pick up this rug, which I know a lot of you guys have purchased it from one of my previous YouTube videos. Highly recommend getting some of that sticky stuff underneath because it does slide around a little bit. Under my bed as well, I also have got some storage. Our beds are pretty tall here at Province, but I actually got some bed risers just to lift it up a little bit more. I brought a bunch of these clear containers from the container store. They slide out and they go almost the entire depth of my bed. I've got t-shirts in this one. Um, and this one just has a couple swimsuits. I haven't really like placed a lot of stuff in these yet just because this is going to be a holding area for new products and things that are coming my way. I also have one along this side. My mom is going to bring another one. I accidentally left it at home. And then I also have space to keep my laundry basket. These ones are really nice because they actually like collapse. So when you're not using them, it makes it super convenient. And it's just the right size to fit underneath of here. As you can see, I do still have a little bit of space and that is why I lifted my bed. I just want as much extra storage as possible. Um, and I've got some Ikea bags and my Hunter duffel bags back there as well. And then this bed skirt is also from Bed Bath & Beyond. I do have a closet here, which is very exciting. In Centennial A, I had a wardrobe and in my room last year I just had like one giant rod so now I finally have a closet and guys I can step into it that's so weird for me in my room at home you can't do that but this here hanging on the wall is a clear shoe holder this is from the container store kind of a weird setup but I'm not really sure how long I'm going to be here before going home so I have an odd array of shoes here I've got some sandals some mules some sneakers and some slippers in here. As you can see, my closet is very, very sparse right now. And like I said, that is because I wanted to bring as little as possible. I knew it would fill up pretty quick. It's in very odd shape in here, but I'm trying my best to make it work. I've got some new pieces that I need to shoot with here on the bottom and just some jackets and dresses here. Um, I've got all black velvet hangers. My hack for hangers is to go to Costco. They sell them in a huge pack for very cheap. And then here on the floor, I've got a shoe rack from Walmart. I had this in my room last year. The shoe situation is going to be a little tricky for me here just because the configuration of my closet is a little odd, as you can tell. It looks pretty big now, but if you know me, you know this is going to fill up pretty quick. And I do have my backpack just sitting on the floor. Up here, I really want to maximize every ounce of space possible, so I got these three foldable collapsible containers from the container store as well as you can see they hang off quite a bit and that's why I have this one turned this one has all my camera equipment in it it has my extra camera batteries and tripods things like that it's a little too heavy to face the other way but in here I have all of my hats and wigs for wig parties and then in this one over here I've got like belts and like just a few purses like kind of just random accessories that really needed a home so that's my closet I'm sure you guys will be seeing this in a lot of videos just because I am always 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 getting new inventory in and things like that but right now I really really love it so over here I do have a mirror you guys know I can't go without a full-length mirror I had every intention of reusing the gold one from my last apartment that you guys know and love that was from Walmart but it's a little too big for this space so my roommates actually found this when people were moving out um someone left this here like they were getting rid of it they just you know had a free sign on it so they picked it up i'm not 100 percent sure where it's from but i will do my very best to find um, a similar one to link down below i love the chocolate brown because it really does go with all my furniture this is our desk it's the most poorly designed desk i've ever seen in my life because this is the only drawer that you get so in it i've got my planner and a bunch of random stuff already and then pretty much everything has to sit on top 
I do take a full course load, 16 credit hours a semester while working 40 hours a week doing style by things. So I have, a, I spend a lot of time at my desk and I use a lot of supplies for it. I do a majority of my work in home. Um, so I like my desk decor to be cute. This gold little like paper rack, I'm not gonna lie, it's really disorganized, but it's been like this for three years now. I think this is from Target. It's really old. My clock is from Target and it ticks very, very loudly to keep you up at night. Um, this is the same lamp as the one by my bed. And then I've got a whole jar of washi tape. I did get a new clear and gold acrylic stapler and tape set. These are both from the container store. I don't have tape in it yet. And then I picked this little like spinning, I don't even know, I actually forgot to take the price tag off. <laughs> that is from TJ Maxx. And this is from TJ Maxx as well. And I keep all of my stickers and stuff in that. So I think it's really cute. I love the way that the space came together. And then here on my wall, I've just got three um, mirrors from Bed Bath & Beyond. I feel like there's something missing on the walls here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put something above my mirror or above my bed. But I do think I want to add just a little bit more decor, but um, so far so good. Okay, we're heading into my bathroom, my first full bathroom to myself. Um, the fan does come on at the same time as the light, so if you can't hear me as well, I apologize. But for this, I wanted to keep almost the same color palette as the bedroom, but I want it to go a little beachier than that. Um, I don't know. I still think that the two work really well together, and I don't think that anything clashes, which I love. So starting off on my countertop, I've got all of my makeup here. I like to do my makeup standing at home, so I figured this would be a really easy place to get ready in the morning. All of these are from the container store as well, and I've got my makeup brushes just sitting here in a cup. I've got like cotton rounds and things like that in this little thing. This is from TJ Maxx, and so are the matching um, toothbrush holder. And then this is from DKNY, that's the brand, but I got it from TJ Maxx for my soap dispenser. My roommate Griffith got me this cute little ring tray from a local boutique in South Carolina, but I have my ring sitting in that. And then here in the sink, I've just got like products I use every day, really no organization to it. And then I've got some hair accessories in this second one and a few other products. I've got this as like a little medicine cabinet. And then down here, I've got all of my hot tools. And then if you open up this, my wonderful, beautiful, amazing sister Madison organized the heck out of this. All three of these clear acrylic things are from the container store. I've got all my cleaning supplies since I obviously do have to clean this place on my own. And here I've got tampons, as you can see, we're all ladies. Um, and then I've got a bunch of other products I use on a daily basis, like aloe, lotion, dry shampoo. And then in this one, I've got extras. I'm not going home anytime soon. So my mom um, really hooked me up with extra deodorant, extra soap, all that kind of stuff. And then I've got my gel polish machine over here. It fits really nicely in there. And then I've got a bunch of toilet paper back there as well. But super organized under there for me. I really, really like it. Okay, I have two bath mats that match. They're a little different orange than I expected. Definitely a much warmer orange, but I really do think that they work with one another, work with the rest of the color scheme. Those are from Urban Outfitters. And then I picked up matching hand towels and matching bath towels from TJ Maxx. These three prints up here, happiness comes in waves. Like I said, I want things to be a little beachier. These are all from Desenio. Okay, I do have one other print on the wall right there. That's from Desenio as well. Another bath towel hanging above my toilet. Here is the other bath mat. These actually ended up being the perfect size. This is the exact length of the like shower and that was the exact length of the sink, which was awesome. My shower curtain is also from Urban. Mom, if you're watching this, I, if I'm being honest, I have no intention of steaming this, so hopefully it unwrinkles itself on its own. Um, but this is what my shower looks like. I picked this up yesterday from the container store just to hold all of my products because we don't really have a ton of like space to put things in here, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, it works. The sponge is still in there from me cleaning the shower yesterday, but I don't know. I really like that the way, the way the bathroom came together. Oh, and I have a trash can on the ground from Urban Outfitters as well thought that the beachy little wicker moment would keep things, you know, beachy. Ignore all the stuff that's in it. I'm human and we have spent a lot of time moving things, unpackaging things and all that kind of stuff. So obviously we had a lot of trash yesterday, but that is actually going to be everything. Um, I really love the way that the space came together, like I said, and I couldn't have done it without Madison. So shout out Madison. She's filming this right now. Love you. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about living on Kent's campus, be sure to leave me 
a little question down below and I will go ahead and answer that as soon as I can. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my apartment tour coming very soon and my first college week of my life. Love you guys and I'll talk to you very soon.